Um, so today I'm actually doing a speed cast, not a speed build. <laughs> Brain fart. Uh, so I'm making Freddie Mercury, as you can tell from the description. And uh, I was really inspired to make him after I saw the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. I've always been a big fan of uh, Queen. Uh, but this movie I thought was uh, amazing, even though it's not totally historical correct. Uh, I know that um, some of the members of Queen did actually decide a lot for the movie. So, you know, you're trying to fit in a lot of years into one and a half hour, two hours. So there's bound to be some uh, inaccuracies. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm such a Queen fan. I love their songs and their music and I grew up listening to them because my mom, she uh, was a really big fan of them. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's why I decided to make Freddie Mercury. Uh, I also uh, going to make all of the other uh, members of the band. I did make John Deacon. Uh, which will also be coming out soon. Um, so I'm missing the two others, uh, but they will come as well. So I'm just trying to figure out his face, which is really distinct. So I really wanted it to be just perfect. I wanted to look like him, like there was no question that this is Freddie Mercury. So after I made my Freddie Mercury, I went on to the gallery and I saw that he was quite popular at the moment and I did check out a couple of the other ones and uh, there were a lot of great Freddie Mercury's out there but I hope at least that mine can stand out a bit or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with, with what I made. So, getting the shape of the face, I think, was the most difficult, and I really tried to make uh, his jaw, because he has like a really big jaw, but at the same time, it's it's his over lip is protruding protruding, protruding <laughs> a lot, uh, which I kind of made it a bit difficult, but I think I managed it in the end. Um, so I'm just spending uh, some time doing the face and getting it exactly where I want it to be. So um, the movie, oh my god, I, I thought it was so amazing. I think Rami Malek did a really good job of portraying uh, Freddie Mercury. Uh, I have been watching a couple of uh, interviews or actually a lot of interviews with Freddie Mercury uh, from when he was alive and wow he's he's such a hilarious guy uh and he's super cool yeah never mind that uh photoshop box that just appeared and disappeared again i was doing some uh uh i i had some reference pictures in photoshop next to me because i have two screens uh, so it just suddenly appeared there instead of joining photoshop to the other screen um, the fun thing about Freddie Mercury is that uh, I actually didn't know until a couple of years ago that uh, he was not originally British, uh, that he was from an island. I forget the name of it, but I think it belonged to uh, Pakistan or something like that. Um, yeah, that actually surprised me because he looks so British, I thought. But yeah, it doesn't really matter when you have a voice like that. It does not matter where you come from, where you're going. It's... I don't think there will ever be a voice like that again. The man could sing. He's a, he's a legend. Uh, and he will be dearly missed. I'm so sad I never got the chance to, to see him sing live. Uh, it was way before my time. I'm, I'm actually turning 30 this year. Uh, it's a bit crazy to think about, but he passed away in 90, 
one, I believe. Uh, I was just two years then. Um, my love for Queen and Freddie Mercury actually came from, like I told earlier, me growing up listening to their music. My mom, she loved their music. Uh, she would play them uh, so much and sing along and I could I knew their songs by heart by the age of six or seven or something like that uh, sadly my mom has passed away now but uh, I still think of her every time I listen to Queen it's kind of like our music and yeah it brings back a lot of good memories so here I'm just trying to figure out what kind of haircut he should have and this haircut was like nine nah, the forehead is so big and so large and I was struggling a little bit with finding the right haircut um, I'm not sure if I end up choosing this I think it's this that I end up with uh, so the look I'm going for is more like the 80s era than the 70s area era I do include a costume from the 70s area, the uh, jumpsuit with the glitter on it, and uh, I tried actually taking away his mustache and changing his long, short hair to his long hair, but then the mustache, it, uh, it disappeared from all of the other ones as well, which I thought was a bit sad, so I just stuck with the, with the short hair for all of the costumes. So uh, this Freddie Mercury is... Uh, his clothes, I based them off of uh, music videos, concerts, uh, etc. Like uh, famous outfits. Um, so like as you can see now, I'm going for the everyday outfit uh, very soon. And uh, it, it's, it's a totally fine everyday outfit. But like his uh, swimwear it's, uh, or, or wor uh, workout wear is not really a workout where you'll see I actually had so much fun uh, doing the research for all of the clothes and yeah just picking all of my favorite songs and checking out the music videos and the concerts and yeah so for the everyday outfit I was thinking about going for the live aid uh, outfit but I was like, mm, I think I actually want to do something different. So I do end up going for, I don't remember which uh, tour this was, but uh, it was the tour where he was wearing the yellow jacket and the red pants with the, uh, no, the white pants with the red stripes. Uh, and it was a little bit difficult to find something that would match totally uh, because it's the sims they don't really have all of those clothes available so I'm just messing about just trying to figure out what to wear choose and there I find this pants which I thought was perfect because it looks exactly like the pants he wore with this outfit with the yellow jacket and here I'm just trying to figure out okay what yellow jacket will fit and I was like well it's going to be an everyday outfit maybe I should choose something more everyday ish like this and I actually end up changing it for the one we got in Get Famous which is I think actually a country inspired shirt um, I don't think I do that on the uh, on this speed cast I think I actually change it after I'm done filming because I was like I was going so much back and forth and like I really wanted it to be uh, just right so here I'm uh, doing the formal, which will be, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't know why I chose to have female uh, clothes as well, but oh well. So I'm trying to choose, yeah, I, now I remember, remember why I wanted to have female outfits as well, because I was trying to choose a singlet that was closely resemblance to the Live Aid outfit where he actually has his singlet tucked into his high-waisted uh, jeans, which there are no options for f males in The Sims to do that. I wish we could actually have an option where it was like tuck 
tuck it into the pants or not and, and you could do that for all of them so this is the workout wear and I was like going a bit back and forth and like should I do something he can work out in or should I do something crazy uh, and you will see very soon that I am choosing something really crazy um, I don't know if any of you guys are Queen fans but I assume some of you are and I am choosing the outfit from a music video which I thought was really funny um, I'm not sure if those are the first rock stars to do this in a music video but I think they were very progressive with this and uh, yeah uh, it's from the music video Break Free where they are all in drag uh, and Freddy is a housewife with a pink top and a black leather skirt I think and some really high heel shoes vacuuming and I will also be doing this for all of the other members uh, because I actually really love the way they were dressed in that music video so yeah um, I was trying to choose the hair as well and we don't really have a hair that matches the hairdo he had in this music video uh, so I was just trying to make it work and look as closely resemblance as possible uh, so here we go for the hair and I was like hmm what <laughs> on God's earth should I, should I choose because in the music video he has this like really high poofed hair which is combed back it's kind of it reminds me kind of like the 60s hairdo and I I was struggling with finding the hair that would fit but I I eventually end up on I think it's this one from seasons um, and yeah I I, I kind of like it I'm not sure actually maybe I choose another one not that important he looks fabulous anyway what I do actually miss uh, wish I wish we could have uh, as a uh, a hat is a qu uh, like a, a crown for the queen uh, because he did use to wear a crown during some of his tours and a red velvet cape with the fur trimming so yeah I just end up with this hairdo I think I might change it I don't remember exactly and then I just tried to do his makeup like he was in the movie like the music mm, video and I think it turns out okay according to the music video it's it's the resemblance you can see that it's supposed to be Freddie Mercury in drag so I think I had the most fun with this outfit uh, some of the other outfits are, were also really cool but this one I think I had the most fun with uh, and just trying to choose some earrings which I kind of it doesn't really matter because they're not showing that much through the hair and here I think I am just referencing my reference pictures and just trying to figure out what kind of shoes he was wearing and I think those black ones were right so here I'm like, well, I'm really not happy with this hair. Maybe you should have something else. And I thought this hair was really nice, but it has a red headband. And that's so annoying. <laughs> Why can't it just have a not a headband or like a... It's not a headband, but you know, the red thing on the side. It's a... Oh my God, I forgot what it's called in English, but... It's not that important. So just trying to choose some jewelries as well. Uh, he was wearing a couple of uh, like arm wristband uh, in the music video. And I'm like, well, this skirt is too long. He needs something shorter. In the music video, he was wearing like this really skanky short leather skirt. And yeah. And just going back and forth and it's like there must be another top that's more suitable because the, this top is not exactly like the one he wore but I end up choosing it anyway because it's close enough so for sleepwear I'm just putting him in not really an iconic iconic look but he did used to wear a lot of jeans 
with no top at all so I just put him in a white jeans with no top uh, and first I was like trying to make this red outfit from a picture I found on Google but I didn't think it turned out that nice so I just gave him a white pair of jeans and uh, I think I also gave him some Adidas uh, inspired sneakers the ones with the three stripes on the side because uh, in almost all of my reference pictures he wore those so maybe those were fa were his favorite shoes or maybe those were sponsored I don't know and I actually did not put him in Adidas sneakers I put him in some really nice white formal shoes <laughs> for bed <laughs> so here I'm trying to make his leather outfit uh, for uh, from a uh, crazy little thing called love uh, and we really don't have anything that looks like that in the sims we have this punk jacket it's too punk it's not rock and roll enough and uh, trying to find some boots that would match and yeah it's just too punk it's not enough rock and roll and just too much punk so I just take it all away and I start over and I do end up going for like this really black leathery pants black leather motorcycle uh, boots and I end up on the first leather jacket I tried on actually I was so undecisive I really wanted this to represent him properly and yeah so I was looking, 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 and nothing really suited for the thing I was after. So I just end up going for this one, which is, it's okay. I wish it was a white t-shirt under, because then it would be more uh, similar to the outfit he wore in the video. And there are no leather caps here. So I was like, no, why can't there be a leather cap in The Sims? So I was like testing out all the other black caps and nothing really suited him. So the swimwear actually make into a swimwear and he gets a zebra banana hammock <laughs> speedo. <laughs> I imagine he would love to wear something like that. So here I am going for uh, one of his earlier looks. I'm just trying to like look around and see okay what would Freddie Mercury wear uh, during hot weather and he would of course wear a glittery spandex suit what else uh, from the reference picture I found the suit was really low cut uh, and it had long arms and he had no shoes on so I do decide uh, on no shoes at all and over to the cold weather which is from his la last music video ever which is one of my favorite songs delilah uh no not delilah these are the days these are the days of our life please don't demonetize me um which she wears one of my favorite outfits of him ever he wears a cat vest with a black shirt and the black pants and I'm in love with this vest Freddie Mercury was so in love with his cats uh, and you know they say never trust a man who doesn't love cats or animals and he was such a cat lover and I just love that I just really love that so the vest in the music video uh, is much more colorful than the one we have in the game but um, cats and dogs do have a vest with cats on it so I tried to choose the one with which I thought was best suited and I think I end up going for this one yeah this was the closest one to like a dark shirt underneath and yeah we're about to be done i think i'm going to change a couple of other things before we end this yeah here i tried to take the mustache away but then the mustache disappeared from all of the other uh, clothes styles as well and it's really not freddie mercury in the 80s without the stash you know 
So he keeps the stash. He does not keep the long hair. He gets short hair for the glittery jumpsuit as well. So and just trying to figure out, okay, what hair was was I using again? <laughs> and I could for the life of me not find it again. So I was looking a little bit for it and there it is. Uh, so yeah, uh, Freddie Mercury. He is a musical genius. He's creative, he's a music lover and he's a cat lover. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next speed build or speedcast. Bye!